right so i uh, yeah so last class we discussed about the <clears throat> some of the important concept like uh, ecr elastic container registry ecs uh, elastic container services so eks elastic community services so and then we discussed about the um, um, terraform scripts so, uh, and then jenkins also we discussed right uh, today i will show you so, some of the important concepts like uh, um database related concepts so how to install the database from uh, client side how to connect to database so from client side to server side so i will show you this is also a very important concept um, right yeah first log into uh, aws dashboard right see once you log into dashboard um i want to create a database coming to database we have market we have different type of database available uh you, you can use any uh platform for database creation but uh for example let's see um coming to database so we have six type of database available market we have database example commercial databases are coming to oracle so oracle is one of the uh, commercial database and microsoft ms sql microsoft sql is also commercial database these are the licensed uh, data db servers okay so coming to next open source so open source databases are uh, three types uh, my sql this is one of the open source and then uh, next one is the uh, mysql post gre sql this is also one of the uh, open source uh, sub, uh, database server sql and then next one is the mary db so this is also uh, one of the uh, open source database server so these three are the free so but minimum charges are uh, will be charges in the aws dashboard it's okay but these are pi above is the oracle mysql are the commercial databases these are the uh, open source database servers so most of the uh, big competency companies or uh, top companies they are using the commercial editions only licensed versions and oracle db or mysql db they are using ms sql microsoft sql or oracle so they are using so remaining are the small companies, middle level organizations, they go for the open source database server, so MySQL, PostGRE SQL, MariaDB SQL. So today I will show you how to launch the database servers in the AWS cloud, how to connect to the database servers from your client computer to database servers. So in AWS, you can launch any database servers. So once you log into AWS servers, you need to select the region. Uh, region means country after selecting region so you can launch your db instances so database instances uh, db instances you can launch once launching db instances you can connect to that instance via uh, client computers client machines so client machines means you can use any client machine windows client machines or linux client machines right yes so database instance to after launching db instance or db servers okay for example you saw ms my, my sql so this is one database server my sql so my sql or post sql or tp so each uh, server you have each client computer so by, for example my sql the client application client said in your windows computer or linux computer you need to install the um, my sql my sql workbench this is the client side software workbench so for example you are installing the server side post gre sql server uh, gre sql server then the client side you have to install the software the software name is pg admin so by using this pg uh, admin you can connect it to your um, database server in the aws cloud pg admin and next one if you go for uh, um, uh, microsoft sql commercial i will show you one commercial edition also uh, ms my, ms and microsoft sql ms sql to install the ms sql server in cloud aws cloud the client side is the uh, microsoft to sql uh, sql server sql uh, database studio or um, server so this is the application from this you can connect it to the your mysql server see here client side we have client application server side we need to launch the database servers okay so both i will show you today so that you have a complete idea so actually the database so we have separate team database engineers are they working on database so as a DevOps engineer uh, we should know so what is the process of how the db engineers are connected to, to the servers from client system to database servers so how they are running the queries so how they are storing the data how they are retrieving the data so just the process as per our process purpose we are learning right no problem so first login to dashboard <clears throat> 
So AWS dashboard, and then select the region. So you can select any region. See right side, you can see uh, we have a number of the regions. So each region AWS data centers are available. Now you can go and select any regions. Right now I am selecting the uh, Asia Pacific Mumbai AP uh, South one region. Now in this region. Uh, open the database RDS. Rational RDS means rational databases RDS. In RDS, follow the SQL languages. The IRDS follow the no SQL languages. So just open the RDS database. RDS means manager rational database. Rational means so it follow the SQL language. So data will be stored in the particular format like tables, columns format. Data will be stored. Now let me open the RDS RDS option. Just click on RDS. RDS dashboard. Yeah, it's open. See, so this is the, my RDS dashboard. Now just click create database here. <clears throat> Once you open your RDS dashboard, it will display here. So just click create and dashboard. Yeah, so click on database. Now you can see uh, I have already created two databases. Let me create uh, how to create database. I will show you an example. Um, yeah, just create, create database. Yeah. You can see number of databases so RDS under RDS option number of database available in AWS cloud. See, we have six database uh, instances are available. Database instances are database servers both are same. Database engines, database servers. So, so these are the six database servers are available in your AWS cloud. You can launch any database. These are you I, I uh, use cost amount will be happening if you use one month or two months. It's a more cost also based on the purpose or based on the configuration part uh, cost will be charged no problem so here uh, we have six database emergent era is the aws one database server is aws they developed the emergent era by using the some of the open source so, so that db servers so mysql post jrsql combined and they they prepare the emergent error so that is the aws one database server that is also chargeable and second one is the mysql this is the open source so anyone can use but the minimum charges will uh, I will charge it. No problem. MariaDB, this is also open source, so it's free. Now, PostgreSQL, SQL, it is also open source, it is also free. Oracle and Microsoft Oracle, these are the commercial editions. So, you know, organization, definitely one of the servers definitely is there you know, to store the uh, your uh, entire data. It may be they, are, they can use Oracle DB or Microsoft SQL. There can be database compulsory, they have to use. So out of the six, any database server will be exist to. So most of the organization, they go for Oracle. Sometimes they use two databases also, Oracle as well as Microsoft SQL. They use the two database servers. So a few companies, they go for PostgreSQL. SQL, some companies go for MySQL, and some companies go for MariaDB also. So some companies using the AWS database server also. It based on the requirement to their charges. So all parameters they consider, they will go and select, they install the database engines in their neural net, right? <clears throat> so example i will show you how to install the database see for example you want to install the mysql select mysql you need to select these parameters so mysql version see we have number of versions are available in mysql uh, let's see right okay see number of uh, versions are available in mysql see so mysql latest version 8.0.23 Okay, like that. See, uh, it is the template production. We can launch development testing and fit air. If it is free, okay, little bit charges, minimum charges will happen. If you launch your database server on dev and test environment, it will be chargeable and production is more chargeable. Okay, based on the environment also, it will be charges will happen. See, database name, uh, engine database and server name, password. Okay, so DP instance type, and then these are the storage type. Okay, this is the auto scaling groups enable disable availability zones connect to VPC or a one VPC or custom VPC. You need to select here and then subnet groups you need to select public access always yes and then security groups we need to select and then we can launch the database servers like this. This this is the charge 965 USD per month. This is the monthly charges. So the, this is the database in, engine. These are the charges for this DB. Okay, so like this we can launch the database servers. <clears throat> same way so if you go for select MariaDB, so it is also free you can see free tier 
you can select to version which version database engine you want to install they have old version latest version also now you want to install post grs scale same process select post grs scale and select the dev development test environment and see it is not free post grs scale we have production and template and dev test template there's no free template right both the mysql MariaDB only free templates have remaining all are the commercial and um, uh, production and dev test environment is there right so let me launch the one see the i want to launch the one commercial edition microsoft sql server uh, my sql server commercial edition i am launching sql server express edition default one only license yes default license only i am selected and then database engine name here uh, your uh, database server name you can give any name here All right now ms microsoft sql server i'm giving like you can give any name microsoft sql ms sql server right so here uh your master administration name so username admin or you can want you can change so right now i'm giving the admin username admin one two three password you can give any password i'm giving admin one two three underscore one two three and then give the this is the uh details we will we you will need to use the time of connecting to your database server yeah so admin one two three underscore one two three right so db instance class uh, instant class so that means microprocessor type so see normal linux computers windows computers we are using this server hardware is different to client hardware is different right uh, normal instances we are using the t2.0 uh, nano t2.0 micro right t2.0 medium t2.0 large and uh, 1 gb 2 gb ram we are using right but here you can see uh, db.t3 that t3 that small so db means database instant that is reason uh, db dot t3 that small this is the microprocessor type and two microprocessor 2 gp ram you are using you can change here also here number of options are there if you can change capacity automatically if you want 2 cp 8 gp ram yes you can go for t2 that large also it is chargeable right i am going selecting default one only storage so you have see different hard disks are available here under storage type see general purpose ssd uh, provisioning IOP, SSD, IOP one magnetic hard disk also there. So this is also chargeable based on the capacity. Minimum hard disk size, so your database instance 20 GP. So I want to increase to 40 GP. Now you can increase, so it's chargeable. You, uh, you can increase up to 100 GP also, it's not a problem. Uh, next, to our, our storage auto scaling, enable storage auto scaling, yes, okay. Now connectivity, so in which VPC you are launching the database instance. I want to launch my database instance in my default VPC, or you can launch your custom VPC also, and you can create new VPC also here also, right? I am launching my database around my default VPC, select default VPC, and then select your security groups. See, security groups, so I am select default security. Here important, public access. If you select yes, then you can uh, you can connect it to your local system to your database. Otherwise, you can select no, you cannot connect. Only local uh, uh, AWS engineers only connect. See, public access, I am selected yes. Next to VPC security groups. No, I am selecting default security group already selected. If you want more security groups, yeah, you want to select, it's not a problem. So availability zones, which availability zone you want to launch in instance. Yeah, you can go for availability zone A, B, C, whatever. I don't know the no preferences, you can launch any. It will select automatically availability group also, availability zone. Microsoft SQL Server Windows Authentication. Yes, Microsoft Server Server Windows Authentication. Enable Microsoft Windows. If you select you need to log into Microsoft Windows Server. I am selecting default only. Server Windows Authentication. Mm, server Windows Authentication. Okay. Uh, next, these are the cost 47 USD. Okay, per month. These are monthly charges. Okay, create DB. Just create DB. After selecting all the parameter, just click on uh, create DB. Now it will be created with database. My SQL database is created. It's not created immediately. It will take time. See, to launch the your database, it will minimum take 10 to 15 minutes minimum. See, it start creating your database. See SQL Server Express Edition. Okay. Uh, reason after creating the reason, it will select automatically here. Uh, here start creating. See, it should be available and it shows green uh, green mark. Then you can connect it to your database server. Let me launch. So it start creating. Like that, you can launch any database, any DB. So some of the data DBs are in free, some of the DBs are chargeable. Okay, so you can launch any database testing purpose. But as a few charges are uh, happen, then you can suspend account will be suspended. If you not pay the charges, uh, account will be suspended automatically. Now you no problem. You can go create another Gmail account. You can create another account. 
Right. So, meanwhile, see, I'll, I already started the uh, launch with the post GRS scale in the same format, and also I launched with the MySQL server. Sir. So, okay. After launching the your uh, MySQL post GRS scale, you want to connect it to these database engines, right? So, for example, I want to connect to MySQL. This is MySQL. Click on database one, MySQL. Now you can see this is the information of the database name, database name, database one. Now, client side, how to connect to a MySQL database? So MySQL, I want to connect to MySQL. And client side, so if you are in Windows 10 computer, Windows 10 or Linux is Linux, okay? Client side, we need these applications. So for, for example, I want to connect to MySQL, I need this client application. This, this is the uh, 10 to 20 MB file only. You can download from Google, MySQL workbench. Download my work, uh, MySQL workbench for Windows or Mac. If you click that command, it automatically download or install. After installing, it will open like this. Welcome to MySQL workbench. Now I want to connect to one of the my MySQL server in AWS cloud. So from my client computer, I want to connect it to DB in cloud. So DB is present in cloud. Okay, so not in my uh, on premises. It is there in cloud. See, just to MySQL connection, just click on plus mark. Just click on plus mark. It will allow the new connection. Yes, it will allow the new connection. Now you have to enter the your DB instant details. That's opening. <coughs> Yes, open here. Okay, here open, right. So open, right. Here, a connection name. You click on plus mark, it will open like set up new connection, right? Your DB name, database one. Database one or some other name, whatever name you want, you have to enter that uh, um, your database server name. Here, host name. So host name, go for your database server. Um, log into database server. Host name means here. So see, uh, once you go into database one, uh, under connectivity security tab, endpoint to under end, below endpoint and security tab, you can see this is the your host name, your database engine computer name. Now go and enter your host name. Okay. Port by default port number you should remember for any. Uh, any server so for any system you launch to the port number is same so this is mysql port number database server port number double three zero six post sql we have fixed port number mysql have port fixed number ms sql also we have a fixed port number this port number you should remember double three zero six is for the mysql right so username i entered admin and then i used the password um so admin two three underscore two three Click OK and then test connection. Now it is uh, allow C. If connection is perfectly established, it will display this so pop up message successfully made MySQL connection. That means uh, from my client computer, I am successfully connected to the server present in the cloud. Yes, click OK and then click OK. Yeah, nice. Yeah, click OK. Click OK, click OK. Now below it will display. Yeah, it is connected. Database one is connected. If you want to launch that database, right click, open. It will launch the database. Right click the database one and then open. Now it launch the database. See, successfully launched. Right? So this is the my database. You want to Test the server status. Left side, you can see management under management first option. Click on server status. Now, your server is running or not. Now, you can see my server is up. It is running. So, like this, you can check the your server details. See, my server is running. It is up and running. Right? Server is running. So, this is the my database one, my SQL server information. Right? So if you are expert in SQL language, so database engineers, they know the SQL language, right? Any SQL query you can run here. So you can run here, you will select query, you have select options, so everything is there. Uh, you can run any SQL, yes, select like this, select, select items. Uh, 
whatever I can do. So, so like this, so just enter the any query from uh, sample queries and then click here, run, execute. It will execute that queries. So result will be displayed below. Okay. So here you can enter any queries, SQL queries, so execute query. No result will be displayed like this. Whatever you enter it below is displayed. So here you can test the query. You can check the output also. So and also some of the information. See left side you can see you can do the database information, query information, tables, rows. You can create on uh, client connections so tools. You can go for configuration scripting also. No script to if you have any SQL script you can run here also. Shell scripting. Yeah, you can enter the Python script to test one. One, two, three, script name create. You can execute the script also. See workbench uh, scripting shell open. Now you can run your script also. So here enter your script. So you can execute that script. I'm not good at uh, uh, SQL language. We are good at SQL language. You can enter any um, SQL languages here. Execute script automatically. Script will be executed here. So you can select any SQL script languages. So this is the general process every day. Uh, the database engineers they are working with the uh, shell scripting, DB rows, so columns, so executing the uh, creating the rows, columns, and running the queries, so testing the result. So they are common task every day. As a DevOps engineer, we should know so where is the database. So in case a particular information you want, you can go and check the, that information is available or not. DB is available or not. DB name connectivity issue, we should know. That is the reason I'm explaining this one. Okay, like this, we need to connect it to MySQL server. In case your organization is there, in your client computer or laptop, you should install the MySQL workbench to connect it to your um, uh, MySQL server present in cloud. Right, second application, <clears throat> second type. So let's go for um, uh, second DB. So before launching the Microsoft SQL, Yes, Microsoft SQL C is still creating. It will take minimum 10 to 15 minutes. That is the reason. Uh, just replace. Uh, I launched one more DB, database two. This is the post GRE SQL engine name, post GRE SQL server. Okay. So select the database name. Okay, here also just copy the database name. So, what type of client we need to connect to the post or GRE SQL? For post GRE SQL, we need to install the client application in your client computer. Uh, this is the client application name, uh, PG admin. So, this application you need to install from your client computer. So PG admin. Just open the client application, PG admin 4. Yeah, it will open like this. Now, here you need to you want to connect to that DB instant, your database server. Just click add new. Just click add new. Just click add new, it will open the new page. Add new servers. Or you can go for tools tab, you can launch from here also. Yeah, it's open. Create a server. Please wait. I'm connecting to my client system to my uh, PostgreSQL SQL DB server in the cloud. Here enter the database uh, DB name, database two, right? Uh, next to uh, below general, uh, general uh, next tab click on connections tab here host name address right here you need to enter the database host name so where i can get the database name so log into your aws dashboard on db instant summary uh, under connectivity security tab you can see connectivity under security tab you end point to yeah this is url so this is the your uh, db host name see below you can see port number post GRA scale port number is changed 5432 uh, SQL um, 3306, right? This is the 5432. This port number you should remember. Uh, copy this one and then go per client application and add this one. Okay. Port number 5432. Username by default, username for uh, post GRS. Post GRS SQL is the post GRS SQL only. So and then click save. Password, enter the password. So it means 123. Click here. <clears throat> now it is connected to my client computer. I am connected to post the uh, post GRE SQL database server. See, once it's connected, see right side, you can see left side database two is connected, right? Yeah. So it is two connected. It will open. See, it will open like that. See, extend this one. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can see the databases, number of the database information. See. Post GRE SQL information, schema information, see 
this is the schema information okay so you can here you can create the tables rows columns so so db engineers will do more on so see your schema you want to create a new schema table yes schema table hr department you know, you can create a number of tables here save See below HR department info is there. We can extend that table. Now you can see number of the information table collection to domains so construction. So now your table separate tables types. So, so you want one more table here, create new table. Uh, table. So we employ HR employ save. So like that, we can so create the rows to table C. HR employee info table is created like C. You can extend this table okay now if columns are there you can entry you can enter the entry here right so here you can use some of the properties tab here available right you can sql query now if you have any uh, sample sql queries you can enter here you can copy paste here you can run the queries also you can execute also static so dependence dependence these are options you have sample sql queries you can run tool options you can go uh ps sql tool so query tool go per query tool now you can run any queries here. So if you go, go Google the post here sample queries, you can run any, now we have number of sample queries available. You can run any queries here. Enter the query, you can execute also. See, well, it will open like that, post GRE query tool. So query editor is there, right? So you can go and check the sample post GRE SQL queries. Uh, just to Google it, some query, take some sample example queries. Here, how to enter sample queries. Yes, just enter sample queries. GRU, SQL queries. Post GRE SQL queries. Query. Yeah, sample post GSQL query. Enter. Now you can see the sum of the sample queries. Uh, see, uh, this is the sample query. You can use any query, just testing purpose. <coughs> So you can take any sample queries, you can run that queries into your query section. So here some queries are there. Uh, you can copy paste this queries in any one of the query. Like this, right? Group by group cause, we have so many queries here. Like this, you can copy paste in column tables. Syntax like this. 